All right, guys, this is my review for the Lenovo G570 laptop. Uh, I just picked this up a few days ago, and here it is uh, getting out of the box. So uh, nothing fancy here. It's just kind of thrown in there, as you can see, some, some styrofoam and some bubble wrap. Um, not the greatest pack job, but, you know, this is a budget laptop. This is uh, something that's, you know, cheap and dirty. So there's the uh, six cell lithium ion battery and the wall adapter. Wall adapter is pretty compact, you know, but you still need this power cord. Uh, the manual, yeah, this is a Japanese model, so I'm not really gonna be reading that. This is a size comparison with my MacBook Pro uh, power brick. And as you can see, uh, the Lenovo, you know, it's not too bad, but uh, not too elegant. So I'm um, just checking out the laptop here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna pop in the battery for the first time. This is real easy. The battery sits flush with the unit and uh, brings the overall weight to around 2.6 kilograms. So I'll just uh, plug in the power here and uh, fire it up. Oh yeah, okay, here's some ports. Uh, headphone jacks, DVD slot drive, and a USB port. On the front you got the Wi-Fi switch, a row of LED lights, God knows what they mean, and uh, you have what is this? A memory card slot. So on the left side you have uh, the hole for the lock, VGA out, LAN, HDMI out, uh, USB plus E SATA, and then USB, USB. All the USB ports are 2.0. So you can see the hinge is actually pretty strong on this sucker. Uh, it might loosen up over time, who knows. Um, it's quite a handsome unit. You know, the keyboard has these island style keys that I really like. The trackpad is about average size, two good buttons on there. I'm just trying out the DVD drive here. You can actually get a Blu-ray drive in this thing if you want. So the, the trackpad has a nice um, sort of textured surface. Your finger won't stick to it. The trackpad buttons are pretty large and well placed. And the keyboard is really nice. Um, you have these sort of curved keys. Uh, and here's a better shot at it. You can see that textured surface so your finger never really sticks to it. And this is brushed aluminum on the deck of the laptop. It's really nice uh, a feature for a budget laptop and feels great on the wrists. So I'm going to power it up here for the first time. For the second time. I think this is when I installed the English copy of Windows. So I just rebooted the machine, held down F12 and it booted off the DVD. And here it is. Uh, everything's installed and I'm just kind of manhandling the unit, just seeing if there's any creaks or shakes or rattles, and there isn't. It's actually quite a solid unit, you know, I was kind of surprised considering it's just a hunk of plastic, um, but it feels quite solid and, uh, you know, it's not too bad. The lid on the other hand, it's got this glossy plastic lid, it just kind of looks cheap and I wish they went with something with a, a matte finish on it, but you know, you can't ask for everything. Okay, here's a little viewing angle comparison with my MacBook Pro from four years ago. Um, the display just isn't very good on this budget laptop. The Lenovo, you can see that the angles just uh, aren't aren't too great. And here's here's the light diffusion for my overhead light. You can see it just reflects it back into your face because it's a glossy screen, whereas the matte display on the MacBook Pro diffuses it much better. Well, this this notebook has a Synaptics trackpad, which I'm quite happy about. You can do two finger scrolling. You can do pinch to zoom and some other gestures. Um, unfortunately, the trackpad isn't that large, so using these advanced gestures is a little bit constrained. You know, as I mentioned before, it's quite a handsome unit when you look at it uh, with the lid open. Uh, but these are the function keys. You can see the function keys on the left-hand side, but the brightness and the volume controls are over the arrow keys. This means you can only adjust those settings with two hands. Now, some of the other functions are adjustable with one hand, but they're not really uh, vital functions like uh, setting the video out. This is what I'm doing right here. I'm just going to test out the HDMI out. You can see right now uh, it works just fine if you're going to use this for an HTPC. It's really uh, you just plug and play. So here's a video stress test. This is a, a little clip H, uh, HD uh, 1080p and it spikes up to 42 megabits per second. So this is really um, stressing the video capabilities and of course the Core i5 Sandy Bridge handles it no problem as long as you have the right codecs. I noticed that Video LAN player couldn't play this clip smoothly but uh, Media Player Classic uh, did a job just fine for it. So here's a little gaming stress test and uh, this is let me see Battlefield Bad Company 2. So this is a fairly modern game. I got it on native resolution 
lowest settings possible and unfortunately it's just not really playable I know it looks kind of okay on this video but it's choppy as soon as the effects go here I am in a multiplayer game as soon as the guns start firing um, and the particle effects and the dust the frame rate takes a hit and you can't play competitively online so maybe you can play single player but uh, this game was meant for online play of course and I just found it unplayable the uh, my Xbox 360 version looked much better as well much smoother all that so this is going to sort of wrap up my review. Um, as you can see, the, the, the unit is has this minimalist, kind of understated look, and it's much nicer than the other budget 15-inch notebooks that I looked at. Now, things that I liked about this laptop, I like the fact that it's pretty powerful. It has a Sandy Bridge Core i5 processor, so it's going to handle everything I want to do as long as it doesn't involve heavy gaming. What I also really liked was the keyboard and the Synaptics trackpad, although I wish the trackpad was a little bit bigger. What I really didn't like about this laptop was the poor display. It's LED backlit, but the viewing angles are pretty atrocious, the contrast is not very good, and the brightness is also pretty poor. Um, but it is par for the course for a budget 15-inch notebook. So that's my review of the Lenovo G570 notebook. I hope you enjoyed it, and visit my site, eyeball.com, if you have a chance.